It's been three weeks um, since I got my shipment of chicks from the hatchery. Um, if you saw my video the day we got them, um, you already know, but I got um, some Cornish Rock Cross meat birds and I also got some American breasts um, that I want to keep and raise. And they've all done pretty well with the exception of I did lose five of them unfortunately and that was a smothering issue. If you've ever had the Cornish rocks before, you know they grow really, really, really quickly. Much faster than, you know, just any normal breed that you're gonna keep for laying hens. Um, so they were only about a week old and there was already a significant size difference and I still had them all together. Um, in retrospect, I should have separated them probably right from the beginning, but I definitely should have separated them as they were starting to get a size difference. Um, and unfortunately one night they just got a little bit colder than normal and they all huddled into the corner like they do, but because some of them were so much bigger than the others, some of them got squished, which is a bummer. Um, but other than that, of course, after that happened, I did separate them and they were all fine after that. Um, and after that happened, I, well, because I was going to separate them, the reason, one of the reasons that I hadn't was because I didn't have two heat lamps. Um, so anyway, that day I went to Tractor Supply to get an extra heat lamp and an extra set of feeders. And of course they had chicks on clearance. So <laughs> I got some more um, to replace the ones that I had lost and, you know, just for some variety and why not? If you're already raising some, you might as well get some more, right? And their price was right. So I also got some uh, Orpingtons, some black sex links, some Jersey Giants, and uh, a couple Americanas. Um, and they were, some of them, some of those ones that I bought that day were pretty young still. Honestly, I'm not sure why the young ones were on clearance. Um, the Orpingtons were definitely already a couple weeks old at that point. So anyway, they're all varied sizes and ages right now, but they're all at least three weeks old and they're getting pretty big. They're starting to fly up on the edge of their tub. They're starting to smell. Um, so it's time to go ahead and move them out here. Um, I don't have the meat birds here anymore. I took those to my mom's house. Um, she's gonna keep them there until it's time to process them because that's where we're gonna process them anyway. Um, but I do have the rest of them here still and I just cleaned the coop out and got it ready for them and now we're gonna go move them out here. <laughs> 